Hi Air Energies, so that's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. Today we're going to take a look and see whether or not this is meant to be. So we want to see whether you and your special person here are meant to be here. Whether you're meant to be together, whether this is destined or fated, whether it's written in the stars. We'll see what the cards have to say for you. Please bear in mind as I do this reading here that I want you to um, initiate that there is a difference between something that's meant to be and something that's meant to last. Sometimes what's meant to be isn't always meant to last. So I just want you to keep that in the back of your mind here. Just, just be mindful of that. This is going to be a general reading, guys. So also please just be mindful of that as well. If you are after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out, inquire. I will list my email just below the video here. So let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle. I want you to focus here on your special person and on the energy just hold them in your mind's eye as i do this reading and we'll see what the cards have to say so is this meant to be Okay, so for a lot of you, I can see that this connection or this person has been a bit of an emotional roller coaster. Okay, there's been a lot of ups and downs, there's been a lot of inconsistencies with this person from what I'm picking up on, and your relationship hasn't always been smooth sailing, but such is the rhythm of life, right, guys? Ups and downs here. Strong sense of imbalance in your energies between you and your person right now. Maybe this is a disconnection. Maybe the two of you are not on the same wavelength. Maybe you guys don't always see eye to eye. A strong sense of imbalance that in this very sense of imbalance or this very lack of equilibrium may be causing some sort of like chaotic energy in your connection or this overwhelmment here. Um, relationships are a two-way street and I, you know, it, it's like a balancing act, right? much like the one that the man has to face in this picture here you know the balancing balancing the rhythm between ups and downs here i feel like there's someone here in this connection that feels as though commitment here may be overwhelming to them so some someone may feel as though they may not be ready for what you're ready here or you, you may not be ready that might be your energy here um yeah, I just feel like a very strong sense of imbalance. There may be someone here may be feeling neglected. So I don't know if this is your energy or your person here. Someone feels as though they're not given the time, the attention and the love that they deserve. They know that this person is capable of giving that, you know, and much more to them but they feel like they're not a priority in this person's life. This person may be distracted. Okay, the your special person the energy that you're dealing with here romantically may be distracted they may be overwhelmed they may be overwhelmed by the intensity of the feelings they have for you or just by a lot of things that are going on with them right now whether internally or externally you're right you're not necessarily a priority in this in this person's life right now okay that doesn't mean that doesn't mean that they're treating you as an option to me it just feels like their energy is a little bit scattered and they probably could benefit from just prioritizing their their life right now that's just how it feels you may feel as though you're taken you're being taken for granted and look maybe some of you are but for a lot of you i feel like this person is really busy and overwhelmed and i don't think they're prioritizing love or romance right now because i just feel like the energy is just really distracted once again they really could benefit from like centering themselves centering their energy or just practicing some self-meditation relaxation techniques just to sort of still and quiet the mind right um, because you know the, the mind is very powerful here um, for a mess I get I get a message for some of you this uh, for some of you listening to this that take your time okay take your time because I feel like this person is going to return to you when they are not too busy in their life or perhaps you might be the one returning to them when you're not so busy here there is quite an attraction, okay? There is quite an attraction. There is quite passion here. And for the most part, I feel like there's so much 
potential within this connection. But I do feel like someone is feeling a little bit... You feel as though this person may be emitting a bit of a cold air or a bit of a distance between the two of you. You may feel as though there's something about this person that you quite can't put your finger on. Like maybe they're not so open with their emotions and with their feelings and expressing them. Maybe there's been some sort of shift in their energy and you feel as though they're sort of being a little bit closed off here energetically and you feel as though they're not as open and as expressive to you as they once were in the beginning or maybe you want them to be a little bit more inclined this way i can definitely feel like you're either taken for you feel as though you're taken for granted or you feel as though you know this person is not giving you the attention that you're giving them maybe you feel like there's not a lot of um, reciprocation happening in this connection or you feel as though you know the the efforts that you're putting in the efforts the energy that you're putting in this connection is going a little bit unmatched here I don't think they're a bad person and I don't think they're a bad match for you. That's not what I'm getting at all. I just feel like they're really distracted. And because, look, they might be distracted by someone else. There could be someone else in the picture. It doesn't mean that they're romantically involved with someone else. They may still have feelings for an ex. They may still have some sort of pain association there with an ex or a connection in the past. They may be distracted with work, with you know, career choices. I do feel like there's something else that's kind of occupying a lot of their attention. Guys, it could also be a multitude of things. It could be financial situation. They may just have a lot of things going on in their mind and they could be completely oblivious and just completely not aware of how their actions or lack of are actually impacting you. Is it meant to be? I think so. I honestly, I feel like anyone that crosses your life Okay, anyone that crosses your path and enters into your life does so for a reason. Similarly, anyone that exits your life also does for a reason. Okay, people come into our lives. You've heard the saying, they're either a blessing or a lesson. And um, I definitely feel like this person is a blessing. And for a lot of you, I feel like the two of you are, you know, you are blessed or you are going to be blessed with a very optimistic and a very successful and a very happy okay there's a strong sense of happiness joy fulfillment vitality warmth vibrancy to this connection i mean notice the sun it is the giver of life here right um so for a lot of you i feel like there's a lot of blessings here that that, that this person is radiating towards you okay something to do with the timing of being a little bit off i feel like maybe the timing is not necessarily all that favorable in your connection right now, just because I feel like there's something here that has them really distracted. But I feel like once they sort out through those feelings or once they sort out whatever it is that they need to work through in their life, they will be back. And I feel like they will be back with so much focus, determination, drive and intensity. And that's that's the energy you want them to be in. So I definitely feel like this connection is meant to be. And just remember that whatever it is that you're going through, like this uncomfortable or in certain stage that you may be experiencing or the fact that this person is acting a little bit distant or a little bit cold towards you obviously if it's bothering you and if it's concerning you and if you feel like that you know it's not within character i definitely feel like you should address this okay talk to them let them know what's on your mind let them know how you've been feeling so definitely don't ignore it okay if a red flag is waving down at you don't look the other way because that red flag will you know, more red flags will pop up, start popping up like mushrooms. So address the issue, nip it in the bud as soon as you can, guys. But I just want to say, if you are going through a period that is uncomfortable right now, or you feel as though, you know, they're acting a little bit distant or cold, you're not going to stay here, okay? This is going to pass because it doesn't rain, it doesn't snow forever. The sun will break out through those dark clouds that you may be experiencing. And I do feel like things are going to get better here on in. In fact, I feel like your intuition, even though for some of you, maybe this is a connection that's ended between the two of you, or maybe this is someone who's pulled away, but deep down inside your intuition tells you that it's not really over, or in, your intuition tells you that, you know, it's going to get better, okay? And it's just a funk that you're going through, so you're going to have to write it out, because listen to your intuition, okay? And if it's trying to this emotional or intuitive nudge that you're getting about this person and about this connection don't ignore that because ultimately it's trying to guide you it's trying to steer your ship in the right direction here so yes look it's meant to be okay you were meant for this person this person was meant for you um 
and you know it you know that you're meant for each other look at all that happiness yes it's been an emotional roller coaster but that's what it's all about isn't it look at all that happiness that this person has brought into your life look at all that joy and vitality that they've brought into your life guys okay just don't be put off by the fact that a relationship doesn't mean and if anyone tells you this you know they're probably not being true tr truthful with you a relation doesn't always mean that it's going to be effortless in fact you know on the contrary it is a lot of work relationships take work and effort from both parties so don't necessarily be put off by that um, because love is not easy it's hard it's messy it's complicated it's challenging here um, and yes, yeah, sometimes you could end up crying alone here, but for the most part, I feel like something about this person and something about this connection tells me that it's meant to be. Even if the two of you find yourself going down separate paths here, I feel like ultimately you're entwined with destiny here, and I feel like that this is going, even if you don't put so much effort, and I'm not saying don't try, but I feel like something about this connection feels like even if you guys ultimately end up going separate paths, destiny will bring you back together again. Um, and I'm not saying stop, if you guys are separate, I'm not saying, or you're disconnected, I'm not saying stop pursuing this, you know, altogether, that's not what I'm saying. But I just feel like um, from from the point of view that it's meant to be, to me it feels like the universe here will conspire and do everything that it can to bring the two of you back together and to make sure that this is work, that this is going to work. So right now here, the message that I get for you is just relax, okay? Relax and let it be, let the universe here figure things out here. Um, because I honestly feel like this is a blessing here. This, it's definitely a blessing here. And whatever it is that you're going through, just grow through it, okay? The two of you. As a couple, as individuals here, grow through it here. Okay, guys, and these are your messages. So thank you for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, sharing. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. Bye for now.